Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. So today we're going to be looking at the trim function. But firstly we're going to start with a variable of name and we're going to equal space Flojo space. Now these are spaces at the front and the back because sometimes you have a string that has leading and trailing spaces. Now how do we actually get rid of these then? We we'll use the function of trim and we pass in our variable of name and what that's going to do is it's going to trim the leading and trailing spaces off of our string. So what we're going to actually get back then is we're going to get back a string without any spaces which will simply be flow joe. So there are no spaces, they have been trimmed, hence the name of the function trim. So let's actually take a look at this in action on Power Automate then. Okay, so we have our manual trigger for the flow and we are setting the name variable to space flowjo space. Now I'll just highlight these so that you can actually see the spaces are there. So our name variable is going to be space flowjo space, just as an example. Now if you have a string like this where you wanted to get rid of some spaces, you'll then use the trim function you'll pass in your variable or your string we'll just run the flow and it will do it all for you so let's actually just kick this flow off let me just save that and then they'll run the flow okay so the flow has run successfully let's just see that the spaces were actually set you can see here that we've got space flowjo space as our string set to our variable and let's see what we actually get back. So we actually get back Flojo without any spaces. And that is how you use the trim function in Power Automate to remove leading and trailing spaces. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.